The first product on our list is Osprey Porter. The Osprey Porter embodies a fine blend of comfort, practicality, and simplicity. At 46 liters, it is just small enough to take as a carry-on item when flying, and yet, by all accounts, you can fit much more in it than you'd expect, thanks to its intelligent design. The price is around $140. Check out the product link in. There are 603 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.7 stars, a customer said. Nearly perfect. It's unusual I give a review of this level of detail. First, let me say that if you're debating about getting this bag, get it. 100%. Second, I bought this bag for a recent two-week trip to China. The trip involved quite a bit of moving around the country and there weren't too many consecutive nights in the same location. I also had to take a couple trains and domestic flights in addition to my multi-leg flights back and forth. That said I was looking for something that could hold a lot of stuff, be easy to grab. The second product in our list is Osprey Fairpoint. Lauded for its versatility, the Osprey Fairpoint is the perfect size for most travelers. While it is, technically, considered a 55-liter model, the main bag holds 40 liters, and the other 15 are attributed to the detachable day pack. This product is available on Amazon for $159, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 803 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.7 stars, a customer said. Settling the overhead bin debate if you are like I was before purchasing this bag, you weren't sure how to settle the debate in these reviews about whether the bag fits in the overhead bin on an airline. Most reviews say that it will fit, but some say that it won't. To complicate matters, the bag comes in two sizes, and the SM is one inch shorter than the ML. Does the SM fit and the ML not fit? I own the larger size, labeled ML. I can say definitively that the ML size does fit in the overhead bins on both Southwest. The next product is Zulu 55. Thanks to its size, ease of access, and its ventilated cross-flow suspension, the Zulu 55 is ideal for the traveler who plans on doing a mix of trekking and city hopping. It's comfortable to carry, a cinch to pack, and its myriad of design features are a pleasure to explore. The price is around $199, check out the product link in the this product is rated with 4.6 stars from 24 customer reviews, a customer said. This is a little more on the pricey side, but I highly recommend this bag. It has amazing features, a lot of loading space, pockets, etc. It does everything I need it for. Long hikes, or short, trekking, or whatever. My two favorite things about this bag that I was surprised while checking it out was one, that it comes with a rain cover. It is hidden in the front pocket and for the downpours that you do not expect you can protect all of your gear, I have not yet had to experience that so I cannot say whether or not it. The next one is. Osprey Fairview 40L well sized and reasonably priced, the Osprey Fairview 40L can carry up to 40 pounds. Despite weighing one tenth that. It has two internal compression straps you can tighten to maximize and secure your load, so it won't be as hard to zip it shut after you've stuffed it to the brim. This product is available on Amazon for $159, check out. This product has average 4.8 stars from more than 561 customer reviews, a customer said. Purchased after much research. Used it for three-week Central Asia trip, kept it to the strict 8 kg carry-on limit for European flights. I am a 5 feet 4 inches, 130 pounds female. When fully loaded at 8 kg I realized it was a bit heavy but hip belt really helps in distribution of weight. Able to fit two pants, two thin sweaters, four short-sleeved, two long-sleeved t-shirts, five socks, five underwear, hiking boots, umbrella, small first-aid kit, quart-sized bag of toiletries, packable Gonex 40L backpack, travel guide and a Canon DSLR with lens and camera bag. Highly recommend using two medium-sized. 
Another happy customer said. I went to Europe for two weeks. No backpacking or anything, the hubby and I just wanted to pack really light and be able to get around easily since we were road tripping and staying in each location for about one day at a time. This bag was perfect. I specifically purchased it because it's the right size to be a carry-on for Ryanair, and they're pretty strict about bag sizes. The bag is comfortable to carry around, either as a backpack or as a shoulder bag. I kept my clothes in vacuum pack bags in the large compartment. The next one is Gregory Baltoro 65L. Made by one of the industry's most trusted companies, the Gregory Baltoro 65L offers you the luxury of having ample volume without being bulky. One of its best features is its small weather shield pocket, designed to keep items like your cell phone dry in inclement weather. The price approximately $285. There are 26 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.6 stars, a customer said. Not much else to say, absolutely fantastic backpacking backpack. I wouldn't recommend buying this blind, I tried on upwards of 5 bags at REI and kept coming back to this one. Amazon simply had the best price. Make sure you adjust the length of the shoulder straps, there are little hooks you can use to make them taller or shorter. This bag does a great job taking weight off your shoulder and putting it on your hips once you have it packed correctly. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.